Hey gang, I'm Colonel Failure. You're watching the Transport Fever 2 on the Metropolis because where else would you be? There's a Transport Fever 2 on the Metropolis video available. You've clicked the old button and, and here you are watching it now. Uh, we're riding on the power line. I've got 84 passengers on board. Uh, at the point that I clicked onto this train, uh, it had made a million and a half in the last uh, in the last cycle. Just this train. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, I think we can safely say we've we've got no money problems to speak of not anymore there's the uh the one pillar golden gate bridge not so much a gate more a gate post i think probably and that's all good i possibly jumped on this train a little earlier than i should have done uh for a for an intro but i wanted the other train to go past to see because i thought that would be compelling but the main reason we're on here is because i wanted to show you what i've done to the station because I've, I've fixed it up and stuff um We'll be there in a minute. It's not far off. No, I'm not going to speed the game up. It's all good. Uh, no, it really won't be much longer. See, look, there was a train going over the bridge. You could possibly just make that out. That was scenic. And uh, and therefore, you know, that's the good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So you'll see over on the left there, I've, I've done a smidge of decoration out for the depot. Not quite happy with it yet. I'll probably tear it all down and put it back up again because it's not quite lying flush with the main track. Uh, but that's okay, plenty of time to revisit that. Uh, I might even do some of that as a stream a bit later on, uh, just to do some, some tarting up on a stream. Now, the platforms don't match at the moment. This is a thing I am aware of. However, the, pace, the, the uh, passengers, yes, the passengers, uh, they don't sink through the platform. No, but her arms bend funny. And so does this lady's hair. Well, <laughs> you can't win them all, can you? No, you can't. Uh, you'll see that there's a there's a train parked up over on the other platform. That's scenery. Yeah, because the trains that actually use that platform, they never reach that end. So that's the the wrong train that you always get on uh, when you uh, when you turn up to the station and you're not entirely familiar with it. I've done a little bit of walling here, which I think looks quite nice. Uh, rebuilt this bridge, which looks quite nice. Bit of wall there that needs tidying up. That's okay. It can be done. It's all right. It'll be fine. It's, it's all good. Small things, people. Small things, a little bit at a time. And speaking of small things, I've only got 28 passengers on board. Well, that's rubbish. There you go. So, uh, so this train now has 2.3 million in the last payment cycle. I've got 80 million quid in the bank and no loan. So it's time to go wrecking ball on this bad boy. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, today's objective, straightforward... Don't know if I'll get through it all, but we'll give it a solidly good try. Uh, and that is to build the internal loop here at... Uh, is this... This is Fantasity. It's Fantasity. Um, yeah, we're going to build the internal loop. So this station... I don't, I don't much fancy its chances. Um, yeah, no, no. We don't, I mean, we need a station up there. Uh, but I'm thinking a, a nice little three-stationer will probably do the job quite nicely. Now, I see. I could... I could go more dramatic than that. I've got hookups down the bottom here to uh, to form the, uh, the, the the aforementioned circle. Uh, slap something straight in the middle of Eternia. Yes. And then slap something over here somewhere, which will then form the, the, the ongoing connection out to, uh, to Gaslands and beyond. Yeah, but the, the only reason I'm on the fence at all is because I'm, th I'm looking at this and going... That would be a flipping glorious place to have a station. Hmm. So, what if... Oh, okay, yeah. What if we did put a station in here? You'd have to do a proper wiggle on a track to get round into, uh, into Moorpork Station as it exists now. So maybe a little bit of realignment there to make that work. Keep that station as part of the, part of the curve... Uh, of the of the overall loop and then use this one here as the uh, as the intercity line mm, that way people could interchange at more pork uh, you, ah, oh, ah, oh, yes so maybe you just need to move more pork's location yeah but you see the, the, the challenge you've got there is is if you want to come up in a straight line now you can wiggle around the corner here to get to the to get to the station. Yeah. 
But you wouldn't you wouldn't choose to do that, though, would you? Would you? Oh, I wouldn't. Because uh, you're going to need another line that then goes out of town as a as a kind of an intercity line, something like that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting idea. The one thing we do know for certain, though, is that we're going to do Iron Forge up to uh, up to Eternia. So let's do that first, and then I can continue pontificating on the uh, on the next slice of adventure uh, in a moment. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it right about here where this bus stop is because we already know this is a busy area. Yeah. Hello there, citizens. It's me, Mayor Bulldozer, and I'm here to mayor. Oh no, no, the other bit, Bulldozer. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm bothering with any of this. I'm just gonna knock this road out in a moment. Um, but uh, no, no, let's let's uh, let's see what we can do. You know what I should have done? What what should you have done that you shouldn't have done? Uh, or anything. Uh, it, I should have gone and got uh, an elevated station mod. I should. I haven't got one, have I? I haven't got one installed. I don't think I've got one installed anyway. Uh, let's have a quick look. If I've got an elevated station, that'd be great. What's that? That's a bridge. What's it doing with the stations? I don't know, but it's it's having a lovely time. Oh no, I don't have it. Right, I'm going to go and install an elevator. Right, good. I've got about uh, got about a bajillion different variations on an elevated station now, and I quite like this one. Yeah, I know. I measured it before starting recording again. It's like I'm some kind of chuffing professional. Uh, I might change my mind any second though, because this one does not appear to have. Oh no, it's got entry buildings at both ends. Oh well, we're golden then. Uh, stick it about here. Stick it in about there. Try and make it uh, make it flush with the road, and uh, that needs it needs just a just a little nudge. No, it didn't. See, that's no better. No, that's that's no better either. Well, if there's no better to be had, just pick one and ride it. I will ride this one. Right. So I've integrated that in with the bus stop, which I don't know if it's it's going to be necessary or not. I don't know if I'm going to uh, to mothball. Uh, that bus line or not. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Okay, I should have perhaps built the station one time before looking at it, because right now it's being completely supported by two staircases. Now, they do look like quite robust staircases, but at the same time, I can't help but think, they don't look that robust, though, do they? Uh, now, I've gone with cheeky green underlay. Lovely. Uh, it does need some pillars, though. Any sort of pillars will do. Platform style, yeah, we'll go era A. No, maybe era B. I'm feeling zesty. Uh, mm, ah, mm, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, ah, yeah. Bridge type, bridge type. Oh, that's horrendous. Uh, what about this one? That's, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, and that, uh, yeah, yeah. Now this one doesn't do anything. Uh, I like that the options in there. Yeah, you can click the option even though it doesn't do anything. Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, that's it's nice. Now, what you can do in in these situations is you can always uh, you can always then add in scenic pillars later on. But frankly, I ain't got that type kind of time. Um, no, life is way way too short for that kind of behaviour. So uh, we'll just we'll just nuke it and build a different one. Yeah, it was that much fun the first time. I can't wait to have another go. Uh, just uh, just abandon ship on what you were planning there and, and plan something else instead. Back to the back to the cheeky green. Yep. Right. And then uh, something 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 with a uh, with any kind of build. I had a, I had one a minute ago. It's working perfectly. I tested it out. I just I, I think it's because I just made it shorter. You've zoomed out way too far there, son. Um, hmm. Ah. What have I done? I uh, try that. Okay. Let's try this. Now, the roads around here are frankly woeful and are going to want to be rebuilt. Um, but uh, I'll rebuild them. I'll, I'll rebuild them real good. And they'll know that they've been rebuilt after I've been rebuilding them. Oh, that's for surezy. Uh, right. Tell you what, look, slap this in. Right. I'm sure, the, uh, I'm sure the, the viewers at home will forgive if you just make it work now. And then, uh, and then you spend a little bit of tinkering time off camera to make it work nicely. Have you got uh, have you got tendrils going on? I don't think you do. No, no, you most definitely do. 
Okay, good. What I'd quite like is to run another road parallel to this going down the other side so that the, the old infrastructure can tune up there. But but right now, let's not let's not dilly dally around on such things and instead let's uh, let's plumb in. We can go a little bit uh, a little bit cheaper on the roads on the, the roads on the track as well. And uh, and just yeah, see the track doesn't match either. Yeah, I know it's not the end of the world. Keep it elevated. Now the challenge is going to be because the original station is a little bit downhill, so the challenge is going to be can we make this marry up quite nicely? Three buildings will be removed. That's cheap. No, oh, I mean I was, I was quite prepared to pay more than that, but uh, only three. No, oh, I mean I'm well into it. And clearly, clearly there is going to need to be some track work doing here. Uh, I don't, I don't mind this double fenced in look that we've got going on but you get the fences clipping and not lying into each other correctly and that's that's always a little bit disappointing um but uh, but it's, it's nothing that can't be fixed right if we're coming out over here if we keep that line then we'll bend around rather like that i could put another station in the middle but i might leave that as an open an open choice for the time being See if the town kind of develops in that direction, and if it does, then maybe look to put in another station later on. But until such a time as uh, as the town has, has got itself any kind of a grip or plan, right, how's this going to look? I don't, well, firstly, um, it's not going to work, but secondly, I think it's going to look really awful. You may well be better coming in coming in slightly different angle and also you're going to have to down tempo quite a bit here because i imagine you're flying oh dear yeah yeah i know hills man what are you going to do well i know guys that's a that's something that we all have to contend with now i mean you could go to town and, and uh and get yourself a hybrid elevated concourse mixed with uh mixed with ground elevation station going on there because that would look very dramatic yeah it's a mission though isn't it and then look even at max downhill we're a million miles away well okay i exaggerate ever so slightly three quarters of a million miles away from where we actually want to be oh okay then so let's abandon that as a scheme not the whole thing you understand we'll we'll just uh we'll just have to think about it in a slightly different fashion we'll go uphill first We'll go with maximum uphill, which you know I don't like doing. Um, and I do think a hybridised, uh, elevated, non-elevated station will be the way to go. But again, I just want to prove out the concept. Uh, and I, I mean, that's that's why I love having all of the money at this stage, is because it means that you can just hemorrhage ten million quid on something that doesn't work, and then go. Pfft, I don't really like it anymore, and go and build something else, which is super. Uh, but at the moment, I do still like the idea, and therefore I'm going to I'm going to pursue it until the idea is is either floundering around in the water, dead, um, or uh, or I go, yep, there we go, we're on to a winner. Ignore that dubious level crossing. We'll be uh, we'll be rectifying that as well. Proving the concept. That's all. Just giving the concept of good old prove. Right, now that's maximum uphill. We need to get onto the end there. You, uh, you're going to need more space than that, bruv. Yeah, and let me tell you if, you, if we can't get it to elevate correctly, I will go at ground level and start to bulldoze a whole lot of roads. I don't want to do that. I'm quite taken with the elevated notion that I had 30 seconds ago. But at the same time, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I'm already not keen. See, even if it was elevated, we still wouldn't be high enough up. Because we've got a we've got this hill climb going on as well. Uh, yeah. Maybe this isn't the town for it. Maybe maybe there is a better town for it in the future. Mayhap there be. Yes, very good. Yeah, I know. I'm practicing it for the tourists. Uh, right, get uh, get over there. Too much slope. Yep, I uh, I suspected that would be the case. Oh, not by much though. Yeah, no, it's only too much slope from the from the road. Well, we know what we say to roads, don't you? Get out of my way, Rhodes. You're the past. Yeah, move it, Grandad. Now we're the future. We're the Iron Snake. 
Yeah, uh, are you? Yeah, Iron, Iron Snake, that's our rock band name. Yeah, goody. Uh, right, okay, good. Well, this, is, this seems to have... Uh, <laughs> this seems to have complied, but it's just a ski slope, and therefore I'm not exactly thrilled with it. Now, if this was a little, you know, a little light railway and it had some kind of mechanical geared system going up there, it might be quite delightful. It doesn't, though, so it isn't. Right, yeah, snap onto there, and we're good. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It is at least consistent in its uh, in its uphill. We'll ride it before the end of the episode. Uh, and see just how poor it is, um, but it's it's about the, the, is it going to deliver on what I want to deliver? I mean, had I put the Eternia station out there, we'd have had more room to play with. But that's an even higher elevation. Uh, we're also going to be burning a bit of money because it's it's going somewhat off the beaten path to get round there. But I think I think that because we'll we'll end up cannibalising the bus routes. So we'll shut those down, um, maybe instead working on interstitial areas, right? So this uh, this section here that, that is neither in the catchment of this one or that one would be a perfect place for a bus stop, and I've already got one there, which means that I thought about that ahead of time, possibly. Um, and therefore, you know, that's all that's all good. Right. You've, you've used up your time limit here now, pal. What's it going to be? What you going to do with this station? Well, I think it's safe to say the first thing we're going to do is bulldoze the existing one. Yeah, 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 you can go. Oh, no, you may have done something inadvertently. I go, no, no, nothing vertent about that. In or out. No. Outvertently, that's what that was. That really isn't a word. No, it is if I use it often enough. So, the obvious thing to do would be a station right about here on this corner because then you've almost got this split into thirds yeah how does that work Vis oh you could go with a station there that comes in goes round hooks on to this uh station that is yet to be before forming the uh the rocket booster that will send up to there and i think said rocket booster because obviously we'll have a we'll have a another coastline run Oh, that's going to be glorious. The views out of that are going to be really nice. Another coastline run going this side. I won't make the power line a, a, a loop. I'll make it multi-part. multi, multi -part. And then if you were to hook up onto a station down there, th this one came in on, and then you'd have your in-town line there. Yeah. And then you, you, hook, you stay on the outside and end up down at the over here. And then the Picks Creek... Grazer Ridge zone area here that can that you've got another interior circuit there that that all hooks onto. Oh, that's the next like 10 episodes just sorted out right there, and we're still on the first island. I love it. In all seriousness, uh, I'm not intending for this series to be an absolute epic length one, and I largely just want to prove out the uh, prove out the concept. But we'll 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 see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go at the moment. Uh, right, UK style passenger station. We'll go back to the ground again. We'll make this a 160. We'll stick overpasses in. We'll put a medium building. And this is going to need four platforms. Right, and then sort of about there. Maybe a little lower. In this gap, actually, would probably be the place for it. No, you need it a bit higher. Okay, just above this gap. Yeah, and then maybe give it a little bit of... A little bit of that. I'm thinking in two dimensions at once, you see. Oh, I know, it's complicated stuff. Uh, so if I stick this in, right, I'm not sold on that being the right place for it, but we'd have one line come in from this bus stop. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so we'll stick a station just above there and possibly run it underground, but it depends what the elevation does to that as a plan, before heading into these two inside tracks which will then form the, the ongoing intercity service. But then the outside tracks become part of the loop that we've started here. So I'm going to stay elevated along there, probably follow the road, and then what? Yeah, we'll do like a 90-degree corner <laughs> to get in there. Yes. Yeah, I know. I, d I didn't say it was a good plan. I just said it was a plan. I'm a, I am actually going to give this station a go where it is. I know we need to do some some uh, work on the road there, but I've got I've got room to do that. 
Uh, right, now, are you sure about having the inside track as your, uh, as your ongoing? I think the outside might work better because you could possibly then snake underneath whatever you've got coming out of there. Okay, yeah, they've got to cross over themselves at some point, so we might as well try that way. Right, now that's going madcap uphill. Oh, dear. As opposed to madcap on C. Yeah, very good. Well done. Uh, right, just crow flies. See what we get out of that. Oh, that's a big fat nothing in a multitude of different fashions. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's worth trying. You never know. It's good. If we just come back this way, bulldoze anything that, that eyes us funny. Uh, keep it airborne. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to need to be more airborne than that because I think you've got some elevation going this way as well. Oh, how very inconvenient of it. Yeah, you're going to need to go higher still. See, look, it will allow that, but it's going to look a little bit odd. Well, you should be used to that by now. There are mirrors in the house. <laughs> ah, you slay me. Um, right, no, get rid of this. New plan. Right, yeah. All you lot are standing in the way of progress. I, however, will not allow that. You see, get rid of the roads and then the uh, any track issues will, or any remaindered buildings will find themselves not remaindered for very much longer. No, no, just do it again. Do it again. Do it, just, no, wait, no, look. No, just, thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So about there. Okay, and that's now ground level despite the fact that we're on the flat. I don't hate it. Well, I don't hate it either, but it does rather render redundant this uh, this multi-tier platform effigy that you've got going on, where you've still got magical floating staircase. Yes. Now, the cost doesn't faze me in the slightest, just in case you hadn't realised. Um, no, I, I, no, I think this might be the way to go. Get the get the concept proved, son, and then and then we'll work out whether or not the whole idea is bobbins. All right, let's uh, let's do it. All right, there you go. See, that's that's some forward thing. Oh, weren't you going to switch to miles per hour? Oh, I meant to do that while I was tweaking. I was going to save it as miles to, miles per hour rather than kilometers per hour. Oh, I'm sure the miles per hour folk are, are all. They're all plenty patient enough. They know that I may or may not get to it in the fullness of time. So what you want now is for this station to do a line out here that very neatly lines up against there. You've got, uh, you've got several choices. You've got the, the, the good old-fashioned swan neck, which everyone's a favour of, which no one's in favour of. All right. Or plan B, move the station. All right, fine. Yeah. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Should still have the right angle going on there. So just bung it in about there. That that may or may not be about right. I think it's about right. And then come in over here. Yeah, there's not too much swan neckage going in there. The elevation's about right. I think we could be. Uh, you've got a you've got a smidge of a swan neck going on there, but I think we've actually we've actually steered too far. We shall make it work. Yeah. First, though, get rid of this. No, I've I've not thought through yet how I'm going to reconnect all these roads, but it's going to be under or over, despite the fact that that's going to be complex because we're going downhill. Uh, yeah. And I, at some point in this series, I am going to take the time to uh, to bulldoze an entire city to build a grid uh, type system or a, or a city layout system that I'm I'm uh, I'm happy and cheerful about. The challenge there is going to be uh, going slowly enough that you you place a bit, the AI regrows, you place a bit more, the AI regrows, and don't do too much so that the city can no longer grow. What's going on here? Uh, it's just a mess. <laughs> it is just a mess, isn't it? Right, just clear all this stuff. No, no, no. I don't care who works there. I'm about to shut it down. Yeah, they're not unionized. There's nothing they can do about it. And about that. They could have a sit-in. Well, they could, but I'm going to bulldoze it around them anyway. Well, okay then. Right. That's it. Lovely. Right, and then clear those bits off. 
And you might go, why, have, why would you do that, though? You only just built that. And you go, ah, you see, if you've got enough room, you'll form a nice, a nice even curve. Uh, whereas you try and do it too short, and arguably I've done that too short, you uh, you end up with uh, with curves that are, that are no good for man nor beast. So, uh, so yeah, you, you kind of point in the right direction, then come at it from the other side, bulldoze a few bits and pieces here and there, and it, and it will work out. I think you're about to hit too much slope. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? But I could back up some... Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, it is quite a slope. And you've got some moderate neckage of the swan going on there as well. All right, well, we'll, do it. we'll just do it like this then. Yeah. You fight me, I knock you over with a power shovel. Right, get some of that. Yeah. Oh, it's glamorous. And uh, and it's it's something else as well that we possibly shouldn't mention in front of children. Right, next. Uh, next is very easy. It's just going from here over to there. Should be able to do it in one with no mess, no fuss, no hassle. It's just going to work first time and not have too much slope. It's got too much slope. I already knew that was going to do that. I knew I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. It's fine. It's okay. This hasn't come as a surprise to me. I'm neither shocked nor dismayed any more than I usually am. That said, I'm usually relatively shocked and dismayed quite a lot. All right. How do you want to? How do you want to deal with this? Oh, don't know. That's really tricky. You're going to have to come out quite a long way. And then get round, probably, to marry in with the existing double track you've got coming in there. Even then, I don't think I'm going to have enough declination in altitude before we reach that point. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Come on, it's an adventure. And if you hate it afterwards, you can just, just murder it all and, and go about your day. You think come out this way a bit? This is a woefully inefficient track. Now, I mean, I'm not bothered about it being woefully inefficient. I mean, you know that. You've watched a few of these before. You kind of go, oh, he's... No, 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 no. He's not worried about my woeful inefficiency. As long as it looks good. And the thing is, that on a... You know, an inter... An urban an urban track set up like this one, efficiency is everything. That's, that's absolutely what it needs to be. You can't take them around the houses because you're, you're not going to be making much money off it anyway. I think I might... I'm, I'm going to work... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, well, okay, yes. But that's what you say during every episode. Um, no, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up. I'm going to stick a train on it. Uh, we'll give it five, ten minutes to, uh, to let it bed in and make a couple of quid. And then see if it makes a profit. If it makes a profit, I might live with it. If it doesn't, though, I will I will kill it off. And it's not that I need the money. It's just that I'm not going to build something stupid purely because it's the only way to make it work. If you can't make it work without it being completely ridiculous that no one would ever conceivably use... Yeah, I will lay this track out to go for... Oh, you might as well swan neck it for the moment. I think there's a there's a relay coming in the future here. And I'm fairly certain this bridge hasn't got any pillars underneath it. That's okay. It's okay. Look, we're just gonna we're just gonna see if it works. Yeah. One train in each direction. See how you get on. Don't remember that last station hasn't got any roads hooked up to it. Okay, right. Well look, there's the circuit. I don't like it. Not as it is. I'm, I still like the concept. But that is uh, a misshapen potato of a circuit, that one. Now, underground trains, that's an obvious solution. But then you can't look at them. And that's, that's why I don't do more underground services in Transport Fever, because I want to be able to see my trains, thanks very much. And uh, the occasional cheeky tunnel, you know. You know that the occasional cheeky tunnel is an absolute ruddy delight. But if you're running a full underground service, it ceases to be, uh, it ceases to be occasional or cheeky. No, it's uh, it's downright blatant at that point, and you don't get to appreciate any of it. Because otherwise, why bother? Why bother having mods at all if you're just going to hide them under the ground? You kind of go, well, I might go and stand on the platform for a bit. You kind of go, well, maybe you will, but 
Who cares? Uh, right, okay, so that's that. Oh, it has put, it's, oh, it's put pillars in. Well, that's something, I suppose. It's still horrible. Yeah, it's still horrible, but uh, don't worry about it. Just don't worry your pretty little head about it. Um, right, now, I think we've got uh, I think we've got this slipped already, in which case this will work just fine coming out of the depot. All right, give it a spin. Okay, well, yeah, quite, quite so. All right, we'll start off with the uh, clock wouldn't. There you go. Nice. Yeah, is it on the right side of the track? No. Okay, well, make, to, to put in some signals, and uh, and that will rapidly sort itself out. Uh, we'll go with uh, we'll go with these little tinkers here. There you go. One way signal for you, friend. And um, we'll we'll just we'll just you know gently gently squeak. I pr I planted those bushes to make it look nice. Oh, that's that's good, isn't it? Yeah, signals are on the wrong side of the track. Oh, curses! All right, we'll do these then. There you go, one there, and uh, another one on the approach to the other side. And I should, I should clean that up. Yep, okay. Just make sure it has cleaned it up. Nope, it's totally broken it. Oh, why is it totally broken? It's because it's yeah, going into the wrong platform. And now it's trying to go back on itself because that's the way that it doesn't have one-way signals. So you're going to go, oh, you joker. Uh, right, Fantasy City, you're going into Gleis Ein. No, Gleis Vi, please. All right, and then you uh, you come out to Ank, and we'll, uh, we'll Gleis Vi that one as well. Yep, there she blows. And then as you come round to, uh, whatchamacallit? Eternia. Yes, uh, we'll uh, Gleis Ein you. There you go. And that should all be peachy. Yep, good. Uh, this is going to be uh, test line uh, uh, to counter. No. Uh, unclock. Yeah. Good. Without seeing there as well. That looks that looks deliberate. Uh, and then we'll do the other one, which is going to be a bit of this, followed by a bit of the other, and a bit of that. All the, all the things. That's what it's going to be. Uh, something like that. that. Yeah, there you go. That all looks that all looks about uh yeah, that's, that's lively. Right, and this is going to be test line clock. Right. Slap some train on and then I'm going to go and figure out those right. What did I break earlier on? You broke everything. The enigmatic line. Oh yeah, the enigmatic line is totally broken. Doesn't even have a station now. Oh, you could probably die. Let's, let's run it into there just to keep it going. Uh, just, I might as well. Because if nothing else, it will actually bring some passengers out to the uh, out to the station here. So that will be worth doing. Yeah, you know what it's not going to let you do? It's not going to let me connect to the next bit of track, is it? Well, it might. Is it? It might. There you go. See, it's not so bad. All right. Yeah, and then you're going to need to tweak the enigmatic line. Yeah, uh, this is temporary, obviously, because because uh, the I don't think the enigmatic line is going to make the cut in the full scheme of things. Manage the old line. So from Night City, more pork, which doesn't exist anymore. We're going to add Ank. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's not broken. Then you got the Fantasy City Clockwood. Yeah, yeah. That's just that's a bus line. Ah, uh, the amount that I care about that, you can measure on one finger. And you know which finger I'm talking about. Right, let's buy some train. Just put something cheeky and electrical on it. One of these? No, 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 no. We're going to go multiple units. Look, we've decided to go with uh, with a lot of British. So let's. We're, we're still going with the... F no, no. Let's, let's check out the old 309s. Now, is that... That's the cab... Yes. All right, give me one of those. Yeah. And then uh, let's put... I think this isn't going to work. All right, but let's do a 40, 40 cap. Two of them, please. There you go. Right, you go this way. It doesn't it doesn't really matter to sell these trains anyway. Send that one on a clockwise one. Send this one on the anti-clockwise one. Right, and then unpause it. And then let's have a look at these roads. 
Now, given that I'm likely to change the shape of this track, this is maybe not the best time to do it, but uh, I'll, I will, we'll, we'll do it anyway. Now, what were you? That was Moorpork, so that was the, the rail station. How are you going to do this, then? Uh, I was just wondering whether or not I'd bulldozed a, uh, a bus stop. Which is, I mean, it's highly possible. Don't really want to do a level crossing, because none of this could be considered flat. Not the road, not the rail, not any of it. It's all horrible. Yeah, too much slope. Well, you reckon? Uh, yeah, I reckon. Okay, alright. And obviously it's too close to the road in order for me to do some kind of clever pop under sort of deal. I don't know what it's thinking there. But it's thinking it wrong. Right, now, give it some of this just to see. Yes, no, that's... No, Gov, no, no, that ain't happening. And of course, you won't, you're not going to be able to go over the top either. Nope. All right, well, uh, then that's that's not a flyer. You're going to have to bulldoze this main road here, build something that will work. I mean, if you had the buildings on the other side of the road as a spacer, then you might be able to get underneath. Yeah, I think we could probably get away with just doing one for the moment, and maybe this will be lucky. Yeah, maybe it will. You know what else is possible? Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. All right, try it the other way, just to be on the safe side. It's, uh, no, I'm out. Okay, all right. Um, just bend it round gently and hook it onto the end over there. Yeah, you're going to want the bendy road, though. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do that. Yeah, I know it looks horrible. Look, we're all we're all just oh dear, there's I mean there are levels of horrible that one is prepared to accept. I mean I'm accepting this. I mean you would have thought I'd accept anything if this is uh, if this is something I consider viable, right? And that's fixed the bus lane. Okay, right. Let's go and have a look at our trains. And oh there, oh, yeah, here comes one now. Hello there. Now have I actually built a train that looks like a train, or have I got two wagons that are just mysteriously rolling no you've got you've, you've got the two fronts of the trains married up against each other yeah all right steve yeah do you reckon it takes both of us to drive this i couldn't honestly tell you all right okay I'll, let me yeah there you go and we've got another one that is equally wonky coming in the other way brilliant uh, it's all going it's all going well so when i said i wouldn't be keeping these trains i'm not going to be keeping these trains that's that's gone that's gone great that has it was it was not and oh, this is a nice shot as well ah oh, oh we're on fire we're on flambe um there's a potential passenger look i'm sure he's delighted with himself and his life decisions all right we just i just want to see if up the tempo to max q we'll rock it around here like the roller coaster that it is and uh you're going to clip through the top of this station as well in a moment yeah, you've got a bit of a lump in there. Yeah, sorry. Okay, all right, that's not so bad. Uh, that's not so bad. There's not an awful lot of people waiting at the station at the moment. Maybe I've got the frequency right. 23 on board. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, keep coming around. And next up, how busy does this one look? Oh, this one's moderately busy. Okay. Kicked off uh, just under 10 there, by the looks of it. And then we filled the train. Yes. All right, on we go. Now, if I were to put a bus station or a bus stop next to this outlier at Ankh, then I think uh, the numbers have built up. But I mean, look at it. We've got, we've got numbers now. We dropped off how many? Oh, quite a few. 37 got off. Nice, 27 got on. You know what, this train might actually be making a profit. Well, that's worrying. No, it's not. It's a bus route, but faster. And because you've got ongoing connections at both ends, uh, then it's, you've got a, you, you know, you've got a viable business. There's, no, oh, sorry, there's, they've got very little feet. It's possibly uh, Veronica Hammock. Um, I thought there was someone sunk into the platform there, but no, I was, I was mistaken. We've got good numbers on here. Right, well, check the other one. 
How's its profit? Awful. Oh, see, this is what I was more... Yeah, yeah. This was the concern. Was, yeah, I don't care how many passengers you've got on board. You're going about four and a half feet, and therefore you're not going to make any money off it. And, yeah, apps... What was that, 17,000 or thereabouts? Not a lot of profit coming from that. No. Interesting. All right, well, if this isn't going to work conceptually, there are two ways to go about it. One is you find a, a pacer, for want of a better example, you know, a little single catch or a sprinter, uh, something that is, you know, one unit only, plenty of them, running costs negligible, and, uh, and just let it, you know, just let it toddle along and make about the same profit as a bus. But because we've got... And that's the other thing, is this train is too fast for this track. I've got to go, is such a thing possible? I apologise, we're going too fast here. I'll slow it back down a little bit. I think we're largely proving out that which we need to. Um, oh no, that was better. 200 grand there. Or maybe it just needs a bit longer. Alright, okay. Well, in which case, I'm going to go and watch a, I'm going to watch the maturation of this station. And then we'll uh, we'll crank it up to uh, to top dollar and uh, and see how we get on. I rather like this overpass. It's not bad, is it? It is quite nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. What? What am I looking at? What was I looking at a moment ago that was showing me everything? I think I was clicked on the last station. No. Oh, okay. Fine. The uh, enigmatic line's got 114 waiting. That's good. 40 to go clockwise and 10 to go anti-clockwise. Yeah. But these lines need to be making money. I think they will. I think what you were looking at was the the bedding in costs of it uh, of it running poorly. That's now done four hundred forty grand profit. Okay, and this one three hundred forty grand profit. Concept proven. Okay, good. Right. Excellent. Now have just uh, let's check the bus stops. Still plenty of people want to use that. I think we we could do... We would benefit from, if we look up the bus route that this is taking, getting a bus stop out here somewhere. That would be sensible. Uh, maybe do it as a third route, because you've got all of this area of town that is currently unserved. Yeah. Yeah, no, the bus stops look like they're, they're filled enough that it's still going to be profitable. What's going on here well, this is going to be down to the bridges that you bulldoze you're going to need to rethink your your bus route but concept wise it works okay good right i'm going to go away now and make it less horrible uh i know you'd quite like to watch me make it less horrible but what i have learned is uh doing the the, the tarting around on uh the iron forge station and I haven't done much. I've done a little bit, right? In order just to just to make it look a little bit better. That was probably about an hour and a half worth of trial and error to get it to do what I wanted. Uh, I'm quite pleased with the result. Obviously, there's further I can go with it. But I need to limit how far I go with any kind of detailing stuff because this map could well get out of hand in terms of, of uh, how busy it is, the frame rate, all of that kind of stuff, very quickly. And what I desperately want to do in this series is have at least one station that is uh, Train Spotter's Paradise, where you can just sit there and a load of different stuff comes in and out. We'll get there. I won't be running all of these, you know, standard multi-unit business stuff for long. I will be for a bit, but not for long. I've parked up a cheeky bus there as well. See? You don't need to do much. You don't have to do much to sell that it's, you know, that there's something going on in there. Yeah, it's all good. I've been Colonel Failure. Next time, after I've done some cleaning, we will do the next bit of route. So we'll uh, we'll put in a station here-ish. We'll work it up there. More bulldozing. Then work it underneath the bridge and into that side of the station. And we will press onwards to our next destination, which I suspect will be the uh, the existing stop at Night City. So we'll be replacing this, the uh, the Fruitless Line, or whatever I called it. Enigmatic. Oh, you're enigmatic. I am enigmatic. Or maybe, maybe you go for Alpha Complex instead. There's a number of things I could do. 
Uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss on that because it's sure to be a blockbuster of entertainment, the likes of which you won't have experienced since Blockbuster the store was still open. And I used to work in one of those, and it was great. Okay, good. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.